Flavius Valerius Constantius, with the nickname Chlorus, a name popularized by Byzantine historians, meaning something like green or greenish, was born in 250 AD, and it was in Nicissus. He would be a competent military man and be Augustus from 305 AD to 306 AD. One of the first things he did when he was Augustus, uh, when Diocletian initiated his persecution, he would have a relatively loose persecution. This would allow his son Constantine to claim more of a Christian role because of this. Galerius, born Gaius Galerius Florius Maximinus, was born in 258 AD in Sertica. He would be a competent military man, just like Constantius, and would be Augustus from 305 to 311 AD. He would be a lot worse, uh, typically viewed by the historians, due to the Christian outlook afterwards. Galerius had a heavy-handed way of dealing with the Christians. He is portrayed as having the sole mastermind behind it, because Constantine uh, wanted to make him look a lot worse than he actually was. But he was more heavy-handed than Constantius. So if we were to write the generalship of Constantius and Galerius, Constantius led campaigns, albeit successful ones, against the Carpi, the Franks, Alamine, and Carousius, the Roman usurper in Britain. He brought that do- down, and it allowed Maximian to have less of a shameful record. And Galerius would campaign against the Sassanids and sack Tesiphon and the Carpi. So how would we write these both? I'd rank Galerius at C tier as being an average emperor, and Constantius as B tier as being a slightly above average emperor. Although both had pretty short reigns, so we really do not know that much about both of them, especially Constantius. And we can really only go after their military prowess and how they dealt with the Christians. So let's talk about how the empire was after Constantius' death as he was not expected to die. This, he died in Britain while about to campaign against the pigs in Scotland. And this would leave his son there with a bunch of beloved legions. So this would leave a very volatile situation for the Tetrarchy. Subscribe and goodbye.